Hello! Welcome to Eclipse Chair. In this video, I will create a primitive REST service using Eclipse Chair. My system is equipped with Java JDK 7, Maven 3.2.1, which is enough to build, run and actually use Eclipse Chair. I have previously built Chair, so I have binaries already and can launch it. Let's wait until all wars in the web app directory get deployed and go to localhost 8080, which is a default Chair port. I have previously created a simple project or a project skeleton to be exact. An empty class, pomxml with no dependencies and pre-configured webxml, since this will be a web application. I want to build a primitive REST service that will use REST Easy JAXRS library. Let's add this dependency, which I want to get from JBoss repository. As soon as pomxml is saved, Che automatically updates dependencies, downloading libraries and making them available to be used in your Java classes, including in auto-completion suggestion boxes. It's done and let's see if I can use this library in my class. First, let's specify a path for my REST service. It will be API. As you can see, imports are added automatically, just like in any decent desktop IDE. Alright, next let's decide on the method. It will be get. And then a path for this particular method. This will be our path parameter, let's call it name. Now I will define parameters for my REST service. I will use both path and query parameters. Let's start with a query parameter that will be appended to the application URL. I'll call it year. Alright, then comes a path parameter name as defined by path annotation above. What will I get in a response? I want the app to return data passed by path and query parameters. Alright, status 200 and then data received semicolon and this is where I will return strings, name and year. Sure, I can use code autocompletion to produce code faster. Looks like we're done. All errors in the editor are gone. Let's take a look at my WebXML as well. The URL pattern is nothing special. And let's build the app now. My local Maven does the job for me and I can download build artifact and deploy it with any servlet container manually. Instead, I will hit run and Che will do this job for me, deploy this war with Tomcat. Wait in a few seconds and here is the application URL. Let's click it. As expected, nothing's here. Slash API slash Eugene question mark year equals 2014. Excellent! The web service returns data it received as path and query parameters. Nice. Now let's go back to Che and see custom Maven build options. You can basically specify any build target that Maven accepts, for instance skip tests or perform clean package without installing build artifacts to a local Maven repo. Great. Sure, there is more to discover in Eclipse Che. Visit our page, browse our docs, clone Che, contribute to the project and join discussions.